Garrett on the go time. Walt Disney World reporter Garrett Hassel standing by for somewhere in Orlando. Happy birthday, Garrett Hassel! Uh, Thank you. Thank you. You're all too kind. Uh, for those that didn't know, my birthday was on the 11th of March. Uh, so he's 21 you know, years I'm, old now, ladies and gentlemen. Tw 21. That's Grow up. 21. He's a big boy. Yeah. yeah. And today I've got it made in the shade here at the beautiful Boardwalk Resort. And uh, it's a beautiful day, you know, nice, warm air. You got the you look at that sky. That sky is just You're beautiful. You're waiting for Africa we, we Just say it. Yeah, I'm actually okay. Okay, I'm gonna turn the camera around. You can Abracadabra. Oh yeah, there it is. Yep. I know yep. where you're at. Yep. Hey, you got 30 yeah. more minutes, and I think it's gonna open. I, I, man, it's amazing how you know that, Tyler. <laughs> hey, bars open at 4 p.m. It's not that. It's not that complicated. Uh, okay, well, some Disney bars are a little different, but but yes, Abracadabra is my favorite. You know, bar here at Disney. I I love the theming behind it. It's got some great concoctions, and they do work some magic in there. And there's a lot of hidden mickeys in there that only the truest of of disney historians know about so mm. abracadabra come on down and get a cocktail yeah. with me we'll have a good old time get a conjurita uh, for me I'll, yeah I, I'll, I'll do that and then you know afterward we'll go for a nice swim in the lake here uh, yeah, i don't time. know if i'm gonna get kicked off disney property for that yeah also yeah. you don't get you don't get kicked off unless they catch you and mm. Okay, they'll probably catch. I don't me. want to don't deal want with. The, I don't want to deal with the wildlife either. Or so. something's gonna catch us, and I don't really want to find out what. And you don't want the brain <laughs> eating amoeba uh, to attack yeah. your inner system by no, uh, accidentally <sighs> swallowing that water. So there's so many uh, okay. reasons to stay away from that water. <laughs> Uh, oh, f f fair enough. You know, I thought the water looked a little murky, but you guys have have shown me the air of my way. So mm. thank you for that. Just take a friendship. Yeah, I'll take a friendship. I'll a take friendship a friendship boat. I love those. Yes. Yeah. I love yeah. those oh. boats. They're fun. Yeah, that's They're fun little boats. You didn't? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, friendship what? boat is what it is. Yeah, yeah, the boats. Yeah. That's right. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, not a real friendship, friendship please. Yeah. Never mind. Go well, away. We, we, we all hold hands while we go on the friendship boats. We, <laughs> Let's we, do it. We lock it up. All right. Uh, and we'll, we'll skip. I'm in. So, Garrett, you're right around the corner from the International Gateway of Epcot. For people that don't know where you're at, the boardwalk is right outside that back gate of Epcot near like france uh and and those sorts of countries um mm -hmm. it looks like based on what we're seeing from disney parks a big announcement occurred outside of hey disneyland is reopening out in walt disney world yes. another major announcement occurred tell us I, i'm i'm so excited so as everyone knows october 1st is the 50th anniversary of walt disney world walt disney world opened october 1st of 1971 a historic date but on october 1st of 2021 we have something exciting. The France expansion is going to be opening up to the public, meaning the Remy Ratatouille Adventure attraction, along with La Creperie, is going to open on October 1st at Epcot in the France Pavilion. This is a little walkway along the back. I've done a vlog back there, and it is quite a beautiful area. Uh, this is very exciting because, one, we said that this, <laughs> this attraction was going to open spring 2020, <laughs> then summer 2020, and then sometime in 2021. Now we actually have a date, October 1st, 2021. It is not going to fall under the tier of the people mover that we never know when it's going to open. This one is set to open October 1st, and this attraction is truly unique. It has a ride system similar to that of... Um, Sorry, uh, Rise of the Resistance, where it's a trackless ride system, but also has a 3D element to it where you put on your 3D glasses and you shrink down to the size of a rat, like our good friend, Remy. And then you run around Gusto's restaurant on the floor and get into sort of the antics that rats have to deal with. It's a hard, hard life out there for a rat, uh, as some uh, don't know. Uh, but in addition to that, the that creperie, life. the creperie. <laughs> Yeah, the creperie is going to open also around that time, so you can get yourself a nice crepe with uh, some jambon avec fromage. Uh, that's French for some ham and some cheese in there. And I, I, I'm pumped. It's been a while since we've had a new Disney attraction. The last one we had was Rise of the Resistance, uh, but this one is brand new. And Epcot hasn't gotten I mean, a new attraction in quite some time. Too. So that's true. don't forget so about this that. Is a, say that again. You there is Mickey and Minnie's Runway Railway. That came out last yeah. year. Don't forget about that. Yeah, it's, been, it's been basically yeah. a year. Yeah. So yeah. That's a good, that's I'm, a good I'm, while. But I'm I'm talking Epcot. Epcot hasn't oh, Epcot anything oh, new right. in, a, see, in a long time. I think the last new thing to come to Epcot was Regal Eagle. I think that yeah, might have been the last that's a great attraction. I love it. <laughs> the perfect barbecue. Hey, I, 
Foodies know. I'm a fan of. Uh, hey, I've eaten there uh, three times. <laughs> and, That's it. And I as a foodie it. does. Yeah, I, I say three yeah, times a, foodie, a week. I, 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 yeah, three. It's, it's actually three times a day. I do breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Oh, dang! dang. Yeah, baked uh-huh. beans, anyone? <laughs> You know, I, I'm trying to be as American as I can, eating all the barbecue I can, the Texas toast, mm. the, the mac and cheese. Mm. Mm. It's, it's some good stuff right there. But um, but I'm very excited about the Red Tui attraction coming out. And because it's coming out, I have to speak about it in French. Uh, for those that may not know, <laughs> there is a counterpart to this ride over in Disneyland Paris. And it has a French name. The American name is Remy's Red Tui Adventure. That's, that is uh, boring. But in French, it is... Ratatouille, l'aventure totalement tout qu'est Remy. And what that means is Ratatouille, the adventure, uh, or sorry, Remy's totally zany adventure. And uh, it's Everyone a lot more poetic in French. I know. Ladies, yeah, calm so down. He's taken. Speak more French for us, Garrett. He scary. just swept me yeah. off my feet. <laughs> some, more French, some more French. I'm just going to say bonjour, ça oh. va. Oh, wow. Um, God. Où est la toilette? Where's the, where's the toilet? Oh, you know, my gosh. Stuff so like romantical. <laughs> Uh, nothing but nothing but romance. Oh my god! Settle down, everyone. And, yeah, and I don't know. Simmer down. Simmer down. Age, what Simmer a... down now. Yeah. Okay. My yeah. Goodness. For the opening, I might wear you know a beret, the ascot, and the white and blue striped shirt. <laughs> Aww, yeah, please yeah, do. Yeah, do it. Please do. And, and or you can paint your like face a... like white with like the striped shirt and just be a mime too. Oh, I like that idea. Yeah. Yeah. You know. I I don't I don't know mm-hmm. if I can shut up that long. I, I can't do can. it for three. I, I can't yeah, even. You've do been it for friends with uh, like uh, you know Goofy and stuff. You can uh, you can. Yeah, handle. yeah, but that's when you're getting paid to be quiet and you get fired if you're not <laughs> quiet. Oh, well, you know, we'll shove a crepe in your mouth and silence you that way. I think that'll work out. Hey, well. As long as long as he's got Nutella and strawberries, I'm I'm good yeah, to go. Well, good stuff. Mm. That's right. <laughs> Well, hey, you know, this is great news, hearing that Remy's Ratatouille Adventure is officially coming our way for the kickoff of the 50th anniversary. That crepery also uh, taking center stage there back behind yeah. France. And that whole France expansion, yeah. I think, is just terrific news and oh. nice to have some added additions. Um, speaking of added additions, when it comes to the entry experience at Disney yeah. parks in Walt Disney World, you know, we've gotten conditioned, Garrett, to wearing the magic bands and using that as like a touch point to go in and out of the Disney World theme parks. They're changing yeah. things up yet again. Yes, they are. So uh, typically right now to enter a theme park, you need to use a magic band or you use one of your cards, whether it's your annual pass or the daily ticket that you buy. But Disney is moving along with technology and they're creating something called uh, magic mobile. And what that means is it allows guests to enter parks with either a cell phone or a smart device. So a smart watch, for example, um, it, it's going to work similar to a magic band where you, instead of tapping your magic band on there, you actually are going to tap your phone or your Apple watch. Uh, Disney announced that this will come later this year and it's going to come in phases, uh, but it's going to, start off with just Apple devices where similar to if you've gone to a Disney resort, you can check into your room just using your phone and it unlocks the door. It's a, an amazing experience and it adds a little bit of magic to your experience. Rather than having to talk to someone at the front desk, get your magic band, you can just walk up to your room whoop, and walk right on in. And it's uh, quite spectacular. And as I said before, it's going to start off with Apple devices only. So if you're team Apple, um, we're set to go. I'm sure it will eventually come to uh, other Devices such as Galaxies, Nokia's, and all the other sort. But starting off with Apple, Disney tends to use Apple products uh, in their own dealings with their iPads and their iPhones when dealing uh, with guest interactions. But in order to, uh, to do this, you just, when it's available, you go into the My Disney Experience, and in there, you'll click on Magic Mobile, and then you can add it to your digital wallet that comes onto your phone or your Apple Watch. And that allows you to, oops, scan on in. Because a few months ago, we spoke about how Disney is phasing out the free uh, magic bands. And I think that was in turn because of this. They wanted to make sure this thing worked. And I think it is quite amazing because, you know, they're they're moving along with technology. They're making it so that guests don't have to purchase a magic band unless they want to. Um, when this does become available, you can still use a magic band or you can use this or you can use both. It really does not matter. It's just allowing guests more ways to uh, enter a park in a magical experience. So, Magic Mobile, it's coming soon, and check back with us on the channel as this become, as we get more news about this. We'll be, we will report it here uh, as quickly as we can, but uh, I, I'm excited for it. Rather than having, you know, if you want to have your Apple Watch on, 
but you also want to have your magical band on, now it can all be in one. You just, you know, tap your Apple Watch, boop, you're in, or tap your phone. It, I think it's simplifying things for people, but it's not taking away from the magic in any sort of way. The ring will still go green and it'll still make that magical sound. Yeah, Tyler, more convenience, always good. I'm super excited for this. I always have my Apple Watch on, and I am, I, I'm one of those people that I like magic bands, but I don't really like wearing them, especially when I have my watch on, because then I've got bands on both wrists, and I feel like a Power Ranger or something, yeah. and I'm like, eh. Morphin' time. You know, but, so I'm not really big on that, so usually I put my magic band on my belt. But I've but I'm just kind of getting tired of like ugh, I have to make sure that I have it on my belt. I, I get worried that it like falls off or something like that. So on a carabiner. Yeah, it's like on a little carabiner. But so I'm really excited for this. Um, you know, they've had this they've had the ability to do this sort of stuff for quite a while, actually, because like VIP tour guides, for example, they have Apple products. They use their phones to scan in, uh, you know, guests to get a, get people in line and stuff like that. So these, uh, you know. These these this has been a possibility for quite a long time, so I'm just glad that they're finally uh, branching it out to customers and guests. Because I mean, again, this the Apple Watch thing is going to be awesome. If like if if I can keep my if I can keep my annual pass in my uh, wallet and just like pull up my watch real quick and do a little double tap and boop, I'm <laughs> I'm stoked. I'm stoked. And anytime, I hope it works in the room too. Like, right. Anytime you can do a little boop. Right, exactly. Life is better. Oh, yeah, a little boops, little you know, boop. all about it. And I know you can already use your cell phone to get in your room, but I just mean I wish it was like, I just want it to be like a simple, like I don't want to scroll through the app and, you know, just sim like just a simple little double tap or something of a button and that'd be awesome. Yeah, I think yeah. you're right. That whole idea, you know, obviously they've, they've had the ability to do it for a while. So, um, you know, the, the pandemic pushed them into a different category where a lot of things had to go basically touchless. And um, a big portion of that was when you visited a, a Disney World resort. Uh, now they ask you not even to like come to the front desk, you know, try and check mm -hmm. in online ahead yeah. of time. Um, they know when you're there because of the Magic Man, because of the app, because of uh, the... Yeah, right. Uh, they're watching. <laughs> uh, but because of the infrastructure that they've set up and so it's really great because you you arrive to a disney resort you'll get a text message immediately saying uh welcome you know your room's not quite available yet but as soon as it is we'll send you the room numbers and a map and you can head to the room yourself i love that i don't want to show up at a disney resort and stand in line at a front desk for an hour and a half just to get my room number that might not be available oh, yeah. convenience matters and so this is just another step in that direction oh yeah oh man i'm so stoked about this but i do like my magic band because <laughs> like there are a couple that um that i have that do like a special feature sure when you do it so i have like a like a valentine's day one that has the the volcanoes from i lava Aww, you, whatever and it's beautiful. so cute and when you do it it's like a little volcano so it makes like this like little <laughs> and you see the sparks flying out That's of it great. so it's like shape of volcano with like water and like greenery and then you see these little sparks and then i think it's like so cute and then i have like a beauty and the beast one that makes it look like a rose inside and there's like another one that i have but i don't really wear it that you got the uh it's like a food and wine one with with like figment on it and then when you when you scan it it's like it makes like a sizzle noise and there's like little fire bits on the bottom <laughs> and the top is gray so it looks like a little frying pan. It's oh, pretty yeah. cool. It's like they have some cute features. So that'd be really cool if like you're able to like choose a feature or something or if it yeah, takes that'd be cool. something from your magic bands that you already have cuz it says that you can use anything. You can use your phone and then if you want to grab a magic band, if you have one like you can use it later in the day or whatever. But it'd be really cool if they gave like a little feature so you can like you choose like your Decide old magic band. Decide which magic band you like, want to actually scan. Really yeah. So yeah. you have like a little feature that happens. But I'm really excited because sometimes I don't really like wearing two. Sure. Because it's like really weird. But, you know, now I have like, you a get new multiple, one that I want to wear. Huh? Yeah, you get mo you get multiple tan lines and it just doesn't work oh, man. out. You, you know you love those. You got you to gotta match on both arms, you know. Yeah, yeah. You can't well, already like, have one that. on I got, a, I got a nice watch tan Oh, look at that tan line. Yeah. Yeah, and then I got and then I got the shirt tan line. I got the polo tan line. Oh, we got to hold off on that last. Oh, one. ladies, Ooh, hold on. Oh goodness. He was yeah. about <laughs> oh, oh. Next, he's going to be speaking French to us again. Wow, I know. Oh. Wow. Well, I will parler français when I feel like it. Wow. My friends, right now, I'm not feeling very pleasy, and I'm just uh, more American than anything. Ladies, calm down. Horrid. Take yeah. me on one of those friendships. I'll hold your hand the entire time, Tyler. <laughs> and then paint me. Paint, paint me like one paint of me like French women. Please. So 
Magic <laughs> Mobile coming uh, very soon to Walt Disney World. If you're somebody that is excited to hear of a little bit more convenience coming your way when it comes to that uh, entry process, make sure that you give this segment a big thumbs up. And Garrett, one last thing. Spring break is underway. You're obviously in the, the boardwalk area of Walt Disney World. It didn't look so busy here a second ago when we were talking to you, but that's probably because everybody's in the parks. Sounds like uh, capacity is being reached. Oh, that is very true. So spring break is at hand. Um, it hasn't, the parks have not been this wild in quite a long time. Uh, for the week of the 14th through the 20th of March, Walt Disney World is at capacity for every single park throughout that, throughout that entire week, meaning you cannot get into Magic Kingdom Studios, uh, Animal Kingdom, or Epcot. It's blocked out. Uh, I have never seen anything quite like this before. Even the week of Christmas and New Year's, there was usually one or two parks open, but everyone is, they're coming out to Florida, they're coming out to Orlando, and they want to experience the Disney parks. Uh, so if you had planned on, like, you know what, maybe uh, we'll come out, um, check the av availability first because there is no way you can get in. It is blocked out. Uh, that is for annual pass holders. Uh, Disney Resorts and just regular single day ticket uh, buyers, it's it's just not available. And it's shocking. It's amazing because, you know, Disney is pulling in the crowds and things seem a little bit more normal. But it's also shocking because I've never seen anything quite like this. And also, uh, in the week of the 21st through the 27th, each day I keep checking that it seems more and more parks become unavailable. In the middle of the week, I believe on the 23rd and 24th they're completely grayed out meaning no one can get in wow. uh, so check the availability uh yeah it's it's quite a phenomenon yeah even during christmas time you couldn't get into magic kingdom but you could get into epcot now it's nothing you can't get in anywhere even if you are dvc and annual pass holder like myself you're they say no way we've we've got the room and uh for those that may not remember or do not know, Disney is not at 100% occupancy. It's only allowing 35% of what typical park occupancy is. And we do not know what that number is. Uh, Disney has not released that information. So Disney says, hey, we're at 35%. We're at 35%. So uh, it's very sad if you can't come out, but it's also very exciting to if you can go in. Absolutely. And uh, certainly something that we like to always suggest is that you check that reservation um, platform uh, via the My Disney Experience app uh, and WaltDisneyWorld.com to see if any additional spots have opened up. Um, I've, from personal experience, I've been in a situation where uh, a park might be blocked out for a week leading up to the day that I wanted to go. And then um, I checked the night before and suddenly there are vacancies. Suddenly there is an opening. So something that uh, you can certainly check into. All hope is not lost. There's always a potential that you can snag a reservation and who knows how much longer the reservations will be in place as we continue to see great news on the front of pandemic recovery. Uh, Garrett Hassel, we wish you a very happy birthday, friend. Um, everybody in our live chat during this live chat segment um, is also wishing you a happy birthday. So lots of viewers sharing their love, too. Um, do you plan on doing anything spectacular for your birthday? And it was a couple days ago, but uh, wow. anything extra fun? Uh well, I want to say merci beaucoup to all uh, my friends out there wishing me happy birthday. Cut him off. Uh, if you wanted, to, uh, if you want, if you wanted to learn how to say happy birthday in French, it's joyeux anniversaire. Oh. Uh, joyeux means have a joyous and anniversaire. It's more like uh, the anniversary of your birth, so joyeux anniversaire. Uh, but no, I'm gonna relax. But tonight, my dear love Ariel, she is coming back to see me again in florida so i'm gonna get to see her and we'll celebrate a belated birthday uh it's gonna be quite magical uh her and her family got me some gifts along with my mom so uh i, I don't know if she brought any other gifts out but uh regardless just seeing her is a gift to myself uh so uh, yeah i'll get to see uh, i'll get to see ariel and you know we'll enjoy the good florida life enjoy this sunshine and these beautiful skies yeah enjoy those clouds quite, yeah, that fake sky. i know it yeah, that, that fake sky. It's all green screen, folks. Mm -hmm. We we do this every week. It. It's incredible. Now yeah. You know. <laughs> and thank you for the Rosetta Stone lesson. We appreciate that. So <laughs> it's good to good to learn a new language while in the process of yes, a live merci. show. Oh, yeah. Yeah, cool, merci. Cool. De, de Dorian, mon ami. Uh, it, is wow. a it is a pleasure to, uh, to parler français avec toi. Avec toi. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Whatever that Woo. was. Yeah. <laughs> well, happy birthday, Garrett uh, Hassel. We certainly are thankful for you. You are a gift to us every single day uh, make sure to wish garrett a very happy birthday in the comments section down below to all who come to this happy place 
Welcome.